As scouts pack up and leave the summit, we're looking back on the Jamboree and looking forward to the next adventures. Hi, I'm Mike DeSocio and this is Jamboree Today. Here's a look at Day 10 of the 2013 National Scout Jamboree. Last Monday, Vince Stiles was the first scout to arrive at the Jamboree. Senior reporter Axel Anderson has caught up with Stiles to see how his Jamboree experience went. Thanks, Mike. I'm Axel Anderson, and I'm back to interview Vance Stiles, the first scout off the bus at the Jamboree. Hi, Vance. Did you have a good time? It definitely exceeded my expectations. It, I mean, I, I thought we were to do a lot of work with the food and, like, like you know, back backcountry cooking. That was that was easy. It was fun. I had fun cooking sometimes. I, it. The, the, the activities here are way beyond part of what I it was expecting. They're above and beyond. It's just top of it. It's, it's, it's amazing how great these are and how well developed they are. Just all, all the work people have put into this has really made it a great jamboree. Uh, thanks for talking with me, Vance. Now back to you, Mike. Thanks, Axel. If you're like many scouts and ventures who can't wait to return to the summit, your next opportunity is the 2014 High Adventure Program. The Paul R. Christen National High Adventure Base at the Summit opens in the summer of 2014, offering four specialized adventure programs. The River, which includes whitewater rafting and kayaking. The Marksman, featuring archery and shooting sports. Helmets and harnesses, including climbing and challenge courses. And wheels, featuring biking and boarding. You can register for these programs at summithighadventure.org. Jamboree Today talked to adventure visionary Jack First about the High Adventure program and the future of the summit. 2014 is uh, High Adventure on steroids. Uh, we'll have uh, 25,000 kids as the objective. We're going to be open for 10 weeks, 2,500 kids, scouts and scouters a week. It'll give our customer an opportunity to get more intimate with the Summit Bechtel Reserve. Uh, they, will, they will live on the east end of the property in, uh, in subcamps Alpha and Bravo. Just to give you a uh, sense of scale. Those during Jamboree house about 20,000 uh, folks. There will be 2,500. So about 10 percent of Jamboree volume for those two subcamps will be housed over in our high adventure area. They'll work in and out of the summit. They'll have their evenings in the summit and in, in the in summit center for a village experience. That's where they'll eat. That's where they'll socialize, get to know one another. And then during the day they'll be out at these fantastic program areas uh, increasing their skill sets uh, and having a blast. So a 10, 2, and 4 adrenaline rush, village experience at night, seven day high cadence, ought to be spectacular. Today's Spotlight feature looks back at a truly amazing jamboree. With over 35,000 participants and staff and thousands more visitors, the scope of this event is proof that scouting is alive and thriving. As we conclude our broadcast from the 2013 National Scout Jamboree, let's look back at the people, stories, and memories that will stay with us for years to come.
Thank you, scouts, venturers, leaders, staff, visitors, friends, and family for reading and watching Jamboree today. Each one of you made this incredible Jamboree come to life, and we truly appreciate that. As we sign off from this Jamboree, we invite you to watch all of our videos at youtube.com slash jamboree today. As always, all the news about this Jamboree and the next will be at jamboreetoday.org. I'm Mike DeSocio, and this is Jamboree Today. Hey, I'm Peyton Smith, and this is Jamboree Today. Hey, I'm Reed Skillingstead, and this is Jamboree Today. I am Chad Rodenberger. I'm Graham Webb. I'm Axel Anderson. I'm Rich Dieselin. This is Sheldon Dick. I'm Suzanne Wolf. I'm Gary Buscom. I'm Tim Underhill. I'm Karen Thompson. I'm Daniel Reck. Thank you for joining us here at the Summit Bechtel Reserve for all of the adventures of the 2013 National Scout Jamboree. As managing editor, I thank our dedicated staff of reporters, photographers, videographers, artists, technicians, and editors who have exceeded all expectations in bringing you the news you can use from Jamboree today. We also give our greatest gratitude to our publisher, Stephen Shore. I'm Stephen Shore. Thank you for experiencing this first Jamboree with us at the new Summit Vector Reserve. It's been a thrill to enjoy these amazing 10 days reporting on your adventures here. And we would love to have you join our team for the next Jamboree. We invite you also back to West Virginia for the Summit Summer Programs in 2014. As we did from Sweden, we plan to provide coverage for the 2015 World Scout Jamboree in Japan. And of course, we look forward to having you back here at the summit in 2017 for the National Scout Jamboree. This is Jamboree Today.